Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here with Heinen's, and I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious Florentine-style salmon. The first thing we're going to do is start off with that salmon, and June is peak salmon season, so that means we are loaded up with delicious wild-caught salmon that is flown in from the Pacific Northwest overnight and in the stores the next day. The first thing we do want to do is season up our salmon very well with salt and pepper, and note that the skin is still on because I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Now add some olive oil to a very large frying pan over high heat. Once the oil begins to smoke, we are going to add the salmon in skin side down. It's only going to cook for about three to four minutes. After that point, we are going to go in there and flip it right over. It should move over with ease. Once it is flipped over, take your tongs and gently pull away the skin. It should pull away very simply. Now remove all of the fillets of salmon. We're simply going to set them to the side. Once everything is removed, add some sliced button mushrooms right in there. What we want to do is caramelize these for three to five minutes. Get a nice browning on them just like this. Add in some finely minced garlic cloves. Cook for about another minute. And then we're going to deglaze with some white wine. That is totally optional. Just give it a quick stir. It should absorb fairly quickly. Now add in some packed baby spinach. We're just going to saute this for a few minutes until it is just wilted. At this point, we are going to pour in some heavy whipping cream for some nice fat and flavors. We are going to cook this over medium heat. It's going to take about six to eight minutes for it to cook down and be nice and thick. Now add in some cherry tomatoes, some sun-dried tomatoes, some fresh basil. Of course, we are going to season this with some salt and pepper. Stir it together until all of the ingredients are combined. And then at this point, we're going to add back in our salmon to get it warmed up again. And then, my friends, it is ready to serve. I finish it with a little garnish of some more chiffonade fresh basil. You are going to love this recipe.